Hey everyone, Greg here, and today I'm going to share how you can use Google Search Console to find keyword opportunities to improve your SEO. So here we are in Search Console. Now there's a lot of data here, and I think sometimes it's really hard to know what keywords to go after. So I use Search uh, Analytics for Sheets, and this allows you to then use an API to pull all that data from Search Console into a Google spreadsheet. And you can see it here in these pictures. Um, it pulls all the data right into a uh, easy to read spreadsheet, which then you can put into either um, like a like a pivot table like I did right here and really scope out opportunities. So what I did was after I did the API and I pulled out all my search console data, um, I did a filter just for my parking pages because I want to show an example of how I'm going to use this data to then go into SEM rush to find keyword opportunities. So I like to look at it from impressions because if, if impressions are growing, uh, month over month or even week over week it tells me that my keyword is starting to move up not necessarily with clicks but just higher up in the SERP position within Google so if I open up this one page here and I did a sort for um, highest to lowest so Angel Stadium Parking and Angel Stadium Parking have both grown uh, April and May uh, you can see so definitely some opportunity right here so what I do is I go into SEM Rush and you have to go to the SEO content template section here. So you have to put in your target term. So I put in Angel Stadium Parking. And you go to the View SEO Template. Um, go to Real-Time Content Check. Now, I already pasted in my content for my page. But you can see my score is a 3.4 out of 10, which is awful. Um, and some other recommendations that SEM Rush is telling me to work on is uh, simply word count. Now, this section here, I want to just emphasize that it's not about hitting a thousand words or so for this. It's just saying that on average, um, the sites that are ranking in the top 10 for this term have about a thousand words. But the reason why they have so many words is because they're covering this topic in so much detail. So you can see that I have a lot more opportunity to um, expand my content. So these recommended keywords right here, I'm going to zoom in just so you can see it a little bit easier on the right hand side. Um, What's really important is to consider if these words make sense to include. So I'm not too familiar with the city of um, Los Angeles of Anaheim, um, or that's just where the angels play. So the words like city of Anaheim I should include into my, my content. Um, general parking makes a lot of sense because I'm covering this as a parking page. Now what's great about using this tool is that I'm going to just make a fake paragraph right here to show you what happens. So if I say um, for regular season ticket holders, you'll see that once I included the word regular season um, right here, it actually highlighted that word on the right hand side. Uh, if I scroll up here now, my score went from something, I think it was like 3.2 now to 3.5. So you've started including all these words now on the right hand side. So if I also say, um, you know, again I'm just making this up, so I'm going to just do like slash and say parking rates and then slash general parking and then slash and then I might say city of Anaheim, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how it works. All these words now have um, highlighted in green. If I scroll back up here now, score went up now to 3.7. So simply just having the words on the page, it's not going to make the difference, which is why I mentioned that it's really about covering these topics in full uh, semantic ways. So that's how I built out this page right now, where I'll use my H2 tags as you know, something about the handicap parking at Angel Stadium, or how much is parking, or, you know, should I take public transportation? These are all subtopics of my main primary topic, which is Angel Parking. So, anyway, just to recap, um, if you use Google Search Console like this, sometimes this doesn't really tell you directionally what you should work on. So, uh, use Search Analytics for Sheets. It's free. Download that into a Google Sheet. It's going to look like uh, this information right here. Now I like to put all my data into Excel because I find that to be a lot easier to use, uh, which goes into this right here. I make a pivot table and then I sort by the, the field that I wanted to, which is parking, and then I open it up for the queries to find out which uh, keywords had high impressions best, you know, month over month. And then finally I went into SEM Rush to put it into the content uh, template just to see what my score was and what I should work on to improve my content to hopefully increase my organic visibility and clicks to my website. So thank you very much for watching and as always let me